What's up, my dude? San Diego 2024 RF Pro Track Review for MX Simulator. All right, boys. So, I really want to get in here and talk about some specific things that I feel like they have done a good job on with these 2024 tracks, including round three, okay? Couple things I really wanna discuss here that I feel like they struggled on with the last, you know, four years in this game. It really feels like to me that they have got more of a consistent sort of track making going on here. You know, it doesn't feel like this round three is totally different than round one, or round one's totally different than round two. It doesn't have that feeling to it. It all kind of feels like a, a similar scaling, a similar difficulty, a similar, you know, overall sort of vibe, I guess is what I'm trying to say. And RF re really needs to keep that up. You know, they don't need to come out here in round four or five and make some weird-ass track that feels like it just doesn't belong in the 2024 series. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, this track, just like the first two rounds, has some of that pro-level skill gap, especially like this section right here, being able to triple right here and still make the inside of this corner before you hit this supercross triple. That's actually surprisingly quite skill gap to be able to do that lap after lap. It's really tricky to judge that jump and still be able to snag that inside like that. Even this like triple before the finish line jumps kind of tricky when you're carrying a shitload of speed around the track. It's got that sort of that kind of technicality to it. You know, it's got that I feel like if you're pro level speed, you're going to be able to separate yourself on this track. This first rhythm's kind of a little bit weird, I'm not going to lie. Um, kind of feels like a 125 rhythm or some shit, but the whoops are decently skill gap because you can get a lot of speed into them. But the big problem with the whoops is when you start getting a road on them, it just takes away all the skill gap. Basically, the erode system, terrain deformation system, and the whoops on this track does literally the opposite effect of what it would do in real life. So, like in real life, you know, it chews up the whoops, cups out the whoops, makes them more difficult lap by lap when you go through a main event. Well, the erode system on MX Simulator on this track literally does the opposite of that. All it does is it smooths off the whoops and makes them easier and easier and easier as the laps go on, which is just weird. Like, it just doesn't do that in real life whoops. So, I don't really know what they're doing there, but yeah, the whoops are pretty skill gapped before you start getting a road on them. But if you get, you know, 10, 15, 20 laps of a road, those whoops basically turn into nothing. Like they damn near get completely flattened out. There's no ruts that go through them. It's like you just came through there with a dozer and just flattened out the tops of the whoops. That's pretty much all the erode system does in the whoops in this game. And people want to act like the erode system is so good in this game. It's actually mind boggling, but you know, <laughs> it's just one of those things, man. Uh, just got to point out those factual sort of things that happens with that okay but yeah so overall i mean i wasn't mad at the track i felt like it had you know decent levels of skill gap on it um a couple of these sections you really gotta time it just right you know now it did sort of create this effect where this flat corner right here of course got one singular giant ass eroded rut in it um which again is not realistic either if you've ever seen a supercross main event there is not just one rut in every corner okay lots of times there's like three four five six or nine okay but uh yeah it creates this weird effect when you have a flat corner and you have a road on on mx simulator because it'll just make that one giant rut and basically what happens on this track right here is 
your whole lap time, your whole, you know, how fast you're going around the track when you have the road system on is pretty much all dependent on how good you hit that one flat corner that has the road in it. You know, this corner, it's like a, like a two or three second swing on how good you hit that one corner compared to like an eroded rut in a berm corner, you know? You can hit a eroded rut in a flat corner about twice as fast or three times as fast than you can in that flat corner without the erode, you know what I'm saying? So uh, normally we don't have a lot of that, like flat corners. The only reason it was like that is because it was in the first corner. It's like you're coming back around the first corner, but yeah, it kind of made it feel like this whole track, how fast you're going around it is all dependent on how good you hit that one corner. That's kind of like the vibe that it started to get to it, which I thought was kind of bizarre. Um, you know, like I say, the whoops get easier and easier as you go. But like this flat corner right here, that's the real place. That's the main place you're going to make up time. Um, you know, because you put an eroded rut in these berms. Yeah, you might be able to hit it a little bit quicker, but it ain't nothing like hitting a eroded rut in a flat corner. You know, that's a whole nother level, but you're pretty much going to hit all these rhythms basically the same every lap. Yeah, you can quad this this area right here. You quad the Supercross triple. You can also triple this right here to that little small like single on the inside. There's a couple little trick lines you can do, but for the most part, you're not really going to hit most of that in the race. But this is a very erode sort of speed kind of track it feels a lot more like that than the first two rounds did to me um this one really feels like you gotta have that a road going especially in that flat corner and in the whoop section smoothing out the whoops to get like your fastest lap times or you know lap times that would be competitive with like qualifying laps you're gonna have to have the road system on to do that um it shouldn't be that way in the whoops. It shouldn't just be smoothing down the whoops. It should be making ruts and cups and, and you know, bumps and stuff like that in the whoops, but it just doesn't do that. Um, you know, honestly, like, same way in that flat corner. It should be able to make two or three ruts coming out of that flat corner versus just one giant singular rut coming out of that flat corner. So the road system still, you know... It's nowhere near where it needs to be, especially for a, you know, simulator, the motocross simulator. Still feel like it's way off when it comes to that, honestly. But yeah, overall, track's not just god-awful terrible. At the very least, at least I can say, it feels like a pro-level track in the game. You know, that's what that was the biggest problem that I had with a bunch of those... 2022 tracks and some of those 23 tracks you would get on them and they literally just felt like an amateur sand track whereas all of these 2024 rf supercross tracks so far have at least had one or two sections on them that that gave you a little bit of that separation where it actually felt like you were on something more than just an amateur, easy, rolled off kind of supercross track. And this track is no different from that, you know. Um, yeah, the whoops do basically become like non-existent when you get a road on it. But overall, I feel like it's just got that overall when you put every section together on the track, um, you know, combined with that tricky hitting that triple to the inside before the supercross triple um you know like uh like the whoops before you get the erode on it some of that does have some skill gap to it and having the berms at a decent size you know it kind of kind of allows you to carry a little bit of extra speed so if you have that speed carrying capability, even tripling in onto the tabletop right there and then being able to triple this is a nice little nice little rhythm line there that uh, gives you a little bit of rhythm skill gap on the track as you're going through a race, you know. But overall, yeah, I don't know if this is my favorite 24, but it's, it's just kind of going right there in line with, I would say, the other 2024 Supercross tracks they've had so far. 
um, this one is a little bit tighter than the first two, you know, especially like that, these couple corners, like this one coming back around the start, start corner, you know, these are pretty tight little sections right here, so you can probably get away with, um, you know, cranking that stability down a little bit, you know, uh, making it where you can turn a little bit sharper. This track definitely has more of that tighter, um, you know, maybe a little slower uh, kind of vibe to it, but you can carry some speed like through this section, uh, definitely can carry some speed around to this berm, but yeah, I thought it was cool because it, you know, got this little triple before the finish line, it's just big enough where it creates a little bit of skill gap, um, overall it's got, you know, fits in with the other 2024 tracks, RF just to be, need to be real careful and not have some doozy ass like round four or five that doesn't feel anything like, the first three rounds, you know, they've had a problem with doing that the last, I don't know, five years in the game. So hopefully they can stick to this sort of scaling and whoop difficulty and, you know, at least having one rhythm on it that's somewhat challenging, you know, that sort of a thing. Hopefully they can at least keep that vibe going and then I'll think we'll be good. But definitely let me know down in the comments what you guys thought about this track. Now I'll take a look, Ski. Either way, appreciate you guys watching all the videos. I'll see you boys in that next one. Later, dudes.